Hi guys, welcome to the Wimborn Boxing Club channel. I'm Dave and I'll be taking you through today's drill. If you've never visited our channel, just to let you know that we bring you the very best videos in boxing tutorials and boxing drills, strength and conditioning videos for sport, but specifically boxing and virtual pad workouts. Occasionally we'll bring you some coaching tips and tricks too. If you like the sound of that, why don't you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, and you will be notified every time we post a video. Right then, let's move on with today's drill, and that are my three best exercises for increasing punching power using a suspension trainer. Maybe I'm a fighter, never back it down. Suspension trainers are fantastic bits of kit. And today we're gonna to look at my three favorite exercises that are gonna help you increase your punch power. The great thing about a suspension trainer is they're relatively cheap. There is a link in the description if you haven't got one, so go take a look on Amazon. You can use them anywhere, at home, in the park, in the gym. So they're good bits of kit you can use anywhere. And they work multiple muscle groups, including core, in every single movement. So we would call this a very productive bit of kit because you're getting a lot done in a shorter amount of time. So that's enough from me. Let's go on now and check out my three favorite exercises on the suspension trainer to increase your punching power. Okay, so the first exercise we are gonna move on to is the one arm rear row. Now for the one arm rear row, what you're gonna to need to do is thread the handles because we only need one handle for this. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you do it on the video. You put one through uh, and then one through again. Um, I've just shown you that really quickly. Please go read the instructions on your suspension trainer and it should tell you how to do this safely so that um, when you put your weight on it, you're not gonna fall back. Okay, and it's not gonna come untangled. So let's move on to the exercise. One arm, rear row. It's gonna work the back muscles. So those muscles that are responsible for attracting the arm once you've let it go. Um, and it's also gonna work core stability. One great thing about this kit that we've already mentioned is it is going to work multiple muscles. So we call it a very productive exercise because you're getting a lot done in, uh, in like I said, one exercise in one movement. One arm, rear row. These, this is quite an advanced move. If you do struggle, untangle the handles and do it two-handed and build up to, um, to a one-arm or one-hand rear row. So what we do is we take the arm fully back, we have the core nice and tight. At all times, the suspension trainer will stay taut. There'll be no slack. If it starts to slack off, the muscles start to switch off. So we keep everything taut. If this is taut, everything is engaged. So. We lean back. The further we have our feet underneath the trainer, the harder the exercise becomes. So start a little bit further up and then work your feet under as you get stronger. But you've got to maintain good technique, okay? Real important to get the most out of the exercise, good technique. Okay, well, arms straight, feet square. We're gonna pull ourselves up and we're gonna make sure that our hips don't turn, all right? Or we don't wanna be doing this, all right? Or this, all right? Hips stay nice and square. We come up, you see how it's still taut, abs are tight, back muscles working, arms working, and then back. So we come up, and then slowly back. If you wanna work it a little bit more explosively, fast up, keeping it taut, slow back. Fast up, slow back. You can see there my shoulders starting to turn, so slow it down, making sure you get good technique. Reps and sets are down to you, really, um, but you might wanna look at maybe 10 inch side, four sets. So again, swapping size, hips square. Doesn't really matter what I'm doing with my opposite hand, as long as I'm not sort of like leaning on the leg and pushing myself up. Just keep it nice and relaxed. With the hand, you can adopt the twist position. So as I come up, I might twist it, or I might just leave it in the punch position and work it that way. And again, just little tweaks that you can make to each exercise. So let me go up for a few more reps. Hips square, up, nice and tall, back down. Up, nice and tall, back down. All right, nice and slow again. I can work that more explosively if I wanted to. One arm rear row, helps with retraction, helps with punch power, good for core stability. Okay, so exercise number two is gonna be the one arm press. So the complete opposite to the one arm row, meaning we're working opposite muscle groups. So we can and we will have the suspension trainer in the same position that we had for the one arm row. So we still need to be locked in place. So hopefully you've still got it set up from the last exercise. If not, go back through the instructions and get it set up. This exercise is a tough one. If you struggle, unhook 
the handles, and let's go with a two arm press to start with. So how we set up, it's like I say, opposite to the uh, to the row. So we're facing forwards now, and the, the, the suspension trainer is coming over our shoulder. So right shoulder, right arm, left shoulder, left arm. Arm will stay straight. Tough exercise, like I keep saying, so we don't need to take our feet too far under to begin with. Start nice and tall. Remember, during the exercise, the suspension trainer will stay nice and taut. Okay, so we'll do the left side first. So over the left shoulder, left hand. Shoulders are gonna stay nice and square. Hips are gonna stay square. I'm gonna slowly come down, and then I'm gonna push and drive and explode back up. Working the pushing muscles and working the uh, core stability. So working a couple of muscle groups in one motion. Now, let me just swap arms again. My elbow comes to 90 degrees. I want to use a full range of uh, movement. Shoulders square, chest square, hips square. Come back down, control, control, elbow 90, and then push back out. Try to prevent the hand from collapsing. What we mean by collapsing is it coming in towards the chest. We're gonna try and maintain that 90 degrees between the, uh, the fist, um, and so the elbows are 90 degrees, and the fist and the elbow stay in line with each other. All right, so we go down, and they stay in line with each other as best you can. If you're noticing this happening, then we need to, or like partial reps, we need to come a little bit higher. Okay, so like when we're lifting weights, we know we're going, we don't want to get the heaviest weight and lose all form and technique. We go to the weight that, that does challenge us, but also allows us to perform the correct technique um, throughout the exercise. So, opposite to the rows, the pushing will allow us to work on our pushing muscle groups and also our core stability. So another great exercise to add to your arsenal. So let's move on to exercise number three. So the last exercise is gonna see us working, again, the core, uh, but we're gonna see it working rotationally. So every time we throw a shot, we are rotating the hips, and that's where a lot of the power is generated. So we can work on those muscle groups and we can use the suspension trainer for that. This one takes a little bit uh, more concentration to, to sit up and to start. So you might wanna watch this back a few times, um, but fantastic exercise, again, for working the rotational muscle groups that you need for your punching. So how do we set up? Feet square and you're at 90 degrees or almost parallel um, to the, the, the suspension trainer itself, um, but your chest is obviously um, forms a 90 degree angle. From here, hands fully out, so you've extended, all right? The hand, the shoulder that faces the suspension trainer, the same hand will be on the handle and then the opposite hand comes through. I'm gonna show you obviously the right side, um, but once you've done X amount of reps and sets, you then do the opposite side, but I don't want to turn my back to the camera, so we're just gonna work this side. So right hand down, uh, right hand on the handle, palm down, left hand over the top, because my right shoulder is facing the suspension trainer. Make sure that you are, um, like I say, forming that 90 degree angle. And from here, we're gonna control the movement, twist the hips, keep the suspension trainer taut, and come to this position. All right, so everything's taut, everything's engaged. Now I'm gonna to explode to the start position, make sure I don't bend my arms, come straight back up. Like all the exercises, the further underneath I go, the harder it becomes. One more time, I control the movement, then I explode up. Control the movement, and explode up. Okay, now we're working those oblique muscles, those intercostal muscles on my right side, and they are gonna help with that punch power and punch speed. So that means that we can retract, so not just send the hand out or send the arm out with good power, but retract it far so we can put together good combinations um, as well as increasing that single punch power. So there's a few ones, well, definitely one don't. So from this position, I'm not just gonna switch my muscle groups off and just drop into place. I'm gonna control the motion, eccentrically work and then concentrically work. So control it, explode. Control it, explode about a chest height of the suspension trainer. Depending on where you are in your strength and conditioning cycle, will depend on how many reps and sets you do, um, but that is obviously down to your own program. So, that is the final exercise of the three. We do put together strength and conditioning programs for, uh, for boxers, so, um, or any sports to be fair, but specifically for boxers. So, if you're looking for a strength and conditioning program, why don't you just, Click on the link, get taken through to our website, 
um, and get in contact with us. Uh, all our programs we put together are specific for the athlete. It's not a generic program, uh, but it is based around your sport, based on the physical requirements and the physical qualities that are that are needed for your sport um, and that you need or you are lacking. And we find that out for assessment. Anyway, you can find all that out on the website, but we do put strength finishing programs together. So if you've got lots of value from this video, please smash that thumbs up button below. If you've got any questions, please comment below and we will get back to you. And before you move on to our next video, and I would love you to go ahead and take a look at this video, but before you do that, hit the subscribe button, get subscribed to our channel so you do not miss another one of our videos. Like I say, I hope this has been a value. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.